they serve. That's right. All right. And the dog shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel. Yes. And there shall be none to bury her. Uh -huh. And he opened the door and fled. The dog's going to eat her. Mm -hmm. She won't have a burial. None to bury her. Remember that. That's right. Uh -huh. Then Jehu came forth to the servants of his Lord. And one said unto him, Is all well? Is all well? Wherefore came this mad fellow to thee? And he said, Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. They call him mad. Mad fellow. He brought the message of God. And what was his response? Wherefore came this mad fellow to thee? That's when you bring people the truth of the gospel. Mad they fellow. call you mad. <laughs> That's right. Say you're crazy. You lost your mind. You're a lunatic. Yeah. You're, That's right. You're foolish. You're arrogant. You, they call you everything because they don't want the message to be true. That's right. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, you know the man and his communication. Yes. And they said, it is false. Amen. That's what they're saying about this message. That's what they're saying about this. Right? They say it's false, but it's, it's false. not. That's right. Amen. There's some of you here that said it was false, but it hooked you. That's right. Amen. This word got all in your jaw and you was waddling like a fish out of water. Amen. For you know it that you found out the Bible had more power than you. Yes. And drug you to shore. That's right. And start scaling you. Amen. Preparing you for the kingdom. That's right. You know, when you get that fish, bless God, straight from the uh, down there at the dock. Uh, bring in, you bring the whole thing home. Yeah. You flay it, fillet it, and scale it yourself. Oh, yes. Amen. And that's what you do. You got to come on to the church and let the word scale you. That's it. That's right. Amen. That's what I am. I'm a scaler. That's right. Amen. I see all kind of fish. Some of y'all are piranhas. <laughs> got a whole lot of mouth. A whole lot of mouth. Some of y'all are hammerheads. Amen. Amen. Some of you are like the octopus wrapped around everything. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. Come on, William. And they said, it is false. It's false. Tell us now. And he said, thus and thus spake he to me. Yeah. Saying, thus saith the Lord, I have anointed thee king over Israel. I have anointed you king of Israel. Then they hastened and took every man his garment and put it under him on the top of the stairs. Real quick. And blew with trumpets saying, Jehu is king. Mm -hmm. So Jehu, the son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshi, conspired against Joram. Do you hear that? Amen. Yeah. Now it's time for Jehu to go to work. Go to work. Come on, son. Now, Joram had kept Ramoth Gilead, he and all Israel, because of Hazael, king of Syria. Yes. But Joram was returned to be healed in Jezreel of the wounds. Yes. Which the Syrians had given him when he fought with uh, Hazael, king of Syria. Yes. And Jehu said, if it be your mind. If it be your mind. Then let none go forth nor escape out of the city to go tell it in Jezreel. Yes. So Jehu rode in a chariot. <laughs> and went to Jezreel. And what? For Joram lay there, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, was come down to see Joram. Uh -huh. And there stood a watchman on the tower in Jezreel. And what did he say? And he spied the company of Jehu as he came and said, I see a company. Wait a minute. Amen. Something's coming. That's right. And what is it? I see a company. And Joram said, Take a horseman and send it to meet them. And let him say, Is it peace? Let him say, <laughs> Come on. Is it peace? Is everything all right? Yeah. So there went one on horseback to meet him. Yes. And said, thus saith the king, is what? it peace? Is it peace? And Jehu said, what has thou Jehu to do with peace? Jehu said, what do you got to do with peace? And that's the way folks are about us. That's right. Hey, Amen. They come at us. Is, is everything all right, Pastor Jenner? Well, you know about everything being all right. <laughs> you come on to the Bible and obey it. That's right. Do what it says. Yeah. That's it. Uh -huh. And Jehu said, what has thou to do with peace? What do you have to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. Get away from here. And the watchman told, saying, the messenger came to them, but he cometh not again. <laughs> he went, but he ain't returned. Then he sent out a second on, ho on horseback. You know, he was on a mission. That's right. Every man that God anoints. Yeah. He has a mission. That's oh, yeah. Right. You bear that in mind, viewer. That's right. Every man in that Bible or even... Says the last apostle John closed his eyes. Uh -huh. Every man after that whom the Lord sends, That's right. God give him a mission and an assignment. That's right. He's just not up hosting services every week. No. Hosting. That's right. Just hosting services hosting. every week, making little podcasts, telecasts, and little back back guardians and all. No. That's right. He have a mission. That's right. That's right. It's a direct assignment given to him from God. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Then he sent out a second on horseback, which came to them. And what? And said, thus saith the king, is it peace? Is it peace? And Jehu answered, what has thou to do with peace? Turn thee behind me. Get behind me. And the watchman told, saying, he came even unto me and cometh not again. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu. Wait a minute. 
He recognized how Jehu drove that chariot. That's right. You know that some people in the neighborhood, I don't care how late it is, you know who it is coming up the street. That's true. true. You'd be like, oh my God, is Logan coming up the street again? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Nobody drives like him. That's right. Three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. And all he's doing is coming up the street. That's right. Wake everybody up. Amen. Jehu, he, they knew how he drove that chariot because he drove it furiously. furiously. Listen at this. And the driving is like the driving of Jehu, the it son of like Nemshah. It's like the driving of Jehu, the son of Nemshah. For he driveth furiously. He, he worked them horses. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And Joram said. Out of dust get kicked up. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Joram said, make ready. And his chariot was made ready. Yeah. And Joram, king of Israel, and Ahaziah, king of Judah, went out, each in his chariot. And they went out against Jehu. And met him in the portion of Naboth the Jezreelite. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu that he answered, said, Is it peace, Jehu? Everything all right, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. That's right. Amen. Do you hear what he said? And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu. When Joram saw Jehu, Jehu, that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? Look at him. Coming all nice and whatnot. Jehu, is it peace? Yeah. And he answered, and what Jehu peace? Jehu said, what peace? And he gave him a tongue lashing. So long. So long. As the horns of thy mother Jezebel. As your mother Jezebel act like a whore. And her witchcrafts and are her so witchcraft many. witchcraft are so many. Yeah. And Jehu come out there to hear that? No. Yeah. No way. <laughs> no way. I think of the segment of the message in the gym that someone took. About man, maybe two or three minutes when I was talking about the way women look and how they Appeared their appearance is like the appearance of whores and whatnot. Yeah. All in churches on choirs, half naked, yeah. with hot pants on behind, hanging all out. Little pants, big body, that's big right. body up top, and a blouse about that big. Yeah. That's causing tension on the buttons. That's right. That's right. All for attention. That's right. Christian so-called singers yeah. with high spike. Whore looking heels like skeletos and fishnet stockings. Yeah. That's right. In the church, Pastor. And then when they took that message and it went viral. Yeah. Then seven, eight, nine, ten million. Yeah. And it's still traveling. Yeah. It made people wanting to know who was this crazy fella. Amen. And all I was doing was preaching for women to put, be modest. That's right. Love yourself. And stop thinking you got to look like the celebrities in Hollywood to be respected. That's right. Love the way God made you. Yeah. You don't need lipstick. Well, that goes for men, too, because they wearing it, too. That's true. That's true. You That's ain't right. got to arch your eyebrows. Yeah. If your mustache is gray, just putting that old black pencil in it looking like Groucho March. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. If God make your mustache white as this handkerchief, thank God for it. Amen. Love the way God made you. That's right. Stop trying to hide them painted toenails in your shoes. God see past them shoes and stockings, you old hypocrite Jezebel. That's right. You're still like Jezebel. Still like her. Get that paint off your toes. If you're not like Jezebel, then get that whole look off. That's right. Well, I got my shoes on. Nobody can see it. You're a liar. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro in the heart of the earth. That's right. You think that make your toes look cute? You look like a fool. That's a fool. That's right. Clown feet. It's wrong the way God made you. That's right. Rouge all on your face, 10 inches, eyelashes. Yeah. yeah. Look like paint brushes. Oh, yeah. I see our young girls walking the street and in the airports in my travel. Yeah. They look like they just got out of bed. That's true. Walk the airport, That's bare true. room slippers, pajamas, old 10 inch looking dirty looking eyelashes, a bonnet on that they should wear to bed. Yeah. Come on. Just walking out there in the airport in pajamas, just twerking in a camera. Amen. We was on our way out of town, me and a few brothers, and it was about four young girls. Airport was packed. 
They set their little phones up videotaping themselves, old bonnet on like they just got out of bed, rollers under that, My lips Lord. looking pasty, face looking ashy, <laughs> fake eyelashes on, pajamas on, big bunny rabbit slippers My Lord. working in the airport, and people just shaking their head looking at them. My Lord, my Lord. You hellions ain't got no shame at all. That's right. That's and right. you think it's cute. You look like a ghetto rat. Whether you're black, white, brown, or red. You're like a ghetto rat. That's right. Get me! Amen. Amen. I know you don't like it and look now. Do I even look like I care if you don't? Get some clothes on you. Stop looking like an old wretched prostitute. That's right. Put some clothes on your children. Stop letting your daughter advertise her five-year-old behind. That's right. Right. Are you listening? Amen. What the word of God says. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu. When Joram saw Jehu. That he said, is it peace, Jehu? Is it peace? And he answered, what peace? You think you're hiding from God, eh? You took the paint off your fingers, mm -hmm. off your lips, off the rouge of your face. Yeah. And then got them old clown feet. <laughs> Amen. That's right. You's a heathen. That's a heathen. That goes for any of you watching and you that are here. That's right. I don't care if you are speaking in tongue. You's a heathen. That's right. You's a clown foot heathen. Amen. You still got Jezebel spirit in you. Yeah. Huh? You oh, still yeah. out of oh, here. Yeah. You got Jezebel spirit still in you. Preach it, man. Amen. Hear what I'm telling you. Is it peace, Jehu? Is it peace? And he answered, what peace? Human family, do you have peace with God? Go ahead, brother. Are your deeds at odds with him? You're either going to be all for God or you're not. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Wait till you get in your 40s and 50s and late. Now you want to paint your toes, you fool. That's a fool. Get that turpentine and get that junk off. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Sometimes you see a beautiful young woman, all nice and clean, well put together and whatnot. And then she light up a cigarette, spoil a whole look. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. Spoil a whole look. I mean, all well put together from top to bottom and put together just right and whatnot. And next thing you know, that's right. Some men don't care if she got up three care. cigars in her mouth. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. It's a disgrace. That's oh, right. yeah. Listen. Is it peace, Jehu? Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother so Jezebel. So long as the whoredom of your mama Jezebel. He's talking, he talking about his mama. His mo yeah. That's right. That's you right. You write me and say that man is mean. He's talking about folks' mama and all that stuff. That's right. That's right. Is your mama Jezebel? Amen. Do your mama look like Jezebel? Mm. Hey, mothers, are you looking like Jezebel today? My Lord. Have you, in your young days, had a mother, young man, who told you, stay away from that girl that looked like Jezebel. That's right. That's stay right. From, away from that Jezebel-looking girl. That's yeah. right. You young men didn't know what she was talking about. No. But if you read about Jezebel in the Bible, the Bible called her the great whore. The great whore. Yes. She right. slain many. Many. Jezebel is the most renowned prostitute in the history of the Bible. That's right. That's true. She made men of God run. run. Yeah. Here's the mighty prophet Elijah. Glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. This man has such connections with heaven, he called fire from heaven. Oh, yeah. He ain't called no fire on Jezebel. No. Jezebel sent a letter. When he read that letter. <laughs> Come on, Jay. Come on. Eh? That's right. Jezebel. Come on. Man, Elijah took off. Took off. And all she did was send him a letter. That's yeah. it. That's right. Obadiah came to the prophet and said, have I not been told you how I hid the servants of the Lord in caves? He said, had to hide him. He had to hide him from Jezebel. That's right. Went from the valley, had to move to the cave. Caves. Came cavemen, That's cave right. dwellers. That's right. Just to hide from one woman. Yeah. She was knocking off the prophets. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. I remember I read an article. Years ago, they say the woman was so fine, so beautiful, so built, so put together, and had AIDS, and men knew it, mm. but they, they, they say they couldn't help it. And she would tell them, I got AIDS, but oh. she was so gorgeous, mm. until they was willing to get burnt, my lord, and died. 
Mm. It ain't that much beauty in the world. No way. Are you getting the old man? Amen. Amen. Hmm? I'm a lot of folks when I preach this, they say a woman must really hurt him. No, I'm <laughs> preaching it because it's Bible. It's Bible. That's you know, right. A woman hurt me. I'm preaching it because. <laughs> oh, yes, I have a lot of women right lay me out. You old so and so and so. I don't care if I do look like Jezebel. So what? Wow. All right. Some woman got over the internet, heard me preaching this, and posted. She put about three hearts and big red lips and said her name was something. She said, uh, Pastor Dennis, I want to come out and play with you. Mm. She said, I'll be your Jezebel. <laughs> my Lord, uh -huh. my Lord. You'll be my Jezza in hell. <laughs> That's what I, you'll be right in hell. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. 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 Come on, son. Is it peace, Jehu? Is and, it peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel. Yeah. And her witchcrafts are and so her many. Witchcraft, her witchcraft. Witchcraft. Now let us remember witchcraft is also Liken unto the spirit of rebellion. Spirit of rebellion. Yeah. All right. And, and Joram turned his hands and fled and said to Ahaziah. Real quick. There is treachery, O Ahaziah. Uh oh, 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 oh. Treachery. Oh, my God, after you hear of that, he says what? There is treachery, O Ahaziah. We better get moving. Something wrong. And Jehu. This so man talking about my mama. I ain't going to ask him about that. <laughs> right. was a peace. He called my mama whore. Get away. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I come on to talk nice to him. This man called my mama whore and oh, everything else. Right. I'm getting out of here. That's right. And when he went running, what did he say? And There's tre treachery. There is treachery, O oh, oh, Ahaziah. Something, something went wrong. Something wrong with Jehu. That's right. Uh -huh. And Jehu drew a bow with his full strength. While he's running, he got a bow at his full strength. And smote Jehoram between his arms. Kill him. And the arrow went out at his heart. Do you hear that? Amen. Get him while he's running. That's right. That's what I'm doing with God help. That's right. Hey Amen. I'm, I'm shooting you while you're running. That's right. You're running away from the word of God thinking you get away. You turn around a corner. But this, listen, this arrow go around corners. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now you know, you, you're going to run zigzag all you want. Zigzag. Run around the corner. But when you look back, there's an arrow right there. That's right. You, you'll be looking at that. Arrows ain't supposed to do that, but this is. That's right. Huh? That's right. Come on, say what? Wait, wait, where is that at, Pastor Jenner? Where, where the Bible mentioned anything about God liking unto arrows? Give me the book of Habakkuk real quick now. Give me Habakkuk real quick. Yeah. I believe if I'm correct, uh, out of his hands is right. like the arrow. That's right. I believe the third chapter. Yes. Hey, Amen. Come on, son. You got to move fast. Got the Habakkuk. Stick it. Habakkuk chapter 3. All right. And we're at verse 1. Listen. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shionu. Read fast. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Yes. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. Uh -huh. Make known in wrath, remember mercy. Yes. God came from Teman. God came from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. And what? And his brightness was as the light. His brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand. Horns coming out of his hand. And there was hiding of his power. Hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence. Before him went the pestilence. And burning coals went, burning forth, coals at his went feet. forth at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. And all right, I don't have time to get all that because I, I got too much time. I got to get away. Come on, go back to where you are real fast. Back in 2 Kings. I got to Kings. get as much Jehu as I can. Right. Come on, son. Back in 2 Kings 9 and verse 23. Read fast. And Joram turned his hands and fled and said to him. All right, Ahaziah, let's get past that and go right to when Jezebel was up in the tower doing her hair. Now in the book of 2 Kings. Jezebel was in the tower doing her hair and getting herself all dutied up. That's right. And now uh, here come old Jehu again. That's right. He come in town and... And he saw Jezebel up there getting herself all fixed up. That's right. Listen at this. Second Kings chapter 9, we're at verse 29. All right. And in the 11th year of Joram, the son of Ahab, began Ahaziah to reign over Judah. Yes. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. When Jehu came to Jezreel. Jezebel heard of it. And she painted her face. Wait. Yeah. Amen. All dialed up. Dialed up. That's the way some women get. That's right. That man come that she's so attracted to, oh, she started wearing stuff on her face she normally wouldn't wear. That's right. Some of you women don't wear lipstick that are watching, but all of a sudden you've met someone and you're so taken by them, you think you're going to dial yourself up, dial yourself up. So you put lipstick on and rouge on your face and start wearing stuff you ain't never wore. Amen. Fake old eyelashes. All of a sudden you've gone to some Asian sister store to buy some wig. 
Both That's three right. of them, so you can have multiple choices. That's right. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? When you start wearing that stuff, that's why I tell folk, be real. Yeah. Be real. If, if not, then I uh, suppose you get sick and can't wear the makeup. Then what? Then what? Then he going to see what you really look like. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh-huh. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. When Jehu came to Jezreel. Jezebel heard of it. And she. <laughs> Go right to Amen. God. I love how this is written. Oh, yeah. Come on, Williams. And she painted her face. Uh-oh. That's you, viewers. Oh, yeah. That's some of you here, face painters. Mm. Yeah. Amen. I remember when I was in Jamaica debating Las Vegas. And he wanted to talk about some ancestors. Anybody think about no ancestors? We're talking Bible here. That's right. God didn't purpose for our women to look like Jezebel. Yeah. What's wrong with the beauty that God gave you? Yeah. Right. That's right. God know what he was doing. Amen. Huh? Amen. God know what he was doing. That's yes. right. Listen at this. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it. Uh -huh. And she painted that goes for many of you church women. You yeah. won't wear it to church, but you sneak and wear it on the job. Yeah. Yeah. And wear it when you're dating your sinner boyfriend because he like it. Right. You become Jezebel for him. That's right. That's right. That's true. You become Jezebel for him. That's right. A double mind. Double, double mind. mind. You're unstable. unstable in all your ways. Unstable. Eh? And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. When Jezebel, when Jehu came to Jezreel. Jezebel heard of Jezebel it. heard of the coming of the man of God. And she painted her face. Put makeup on. And tired her head. Got her hair all together. And looked out at a window. Ah. Amen. She looked out the window and what happened? And as Jehu entered in at the gate, she said, had Zimri peace. Had Zimri peace. Who slew his master. Who, who killed him. And he lifted up his face to the window and said. What? Who is on no, my. No, he looked up the window and said, oh man, she's fine. And he lifted up his face to the window and said, who is on my side, who? And they looked out to him two or three eunuchs. And what did he suggest? And he said, throw her down. No, throw her a kiss. <laughs> Throw her down. No, let's take it to the Lord and tell us. And he said, throw her down. Buy her evening gown. Throw her down. You mind if I come up there and hang out with you all night? And he said, throw her down. What kind of perfume you got on up there? Throw her down. Yeah, well, you well put together like a thick piece of leather. And he said, throw her down. He ain't say none of that. No, he didn't. She got her hair all done and got her makeup all done. Has them right peace? Them right peace. <laughs> Jay, who look up there? Hey, who on the Lord's side? Up who? There? Who up there on the Lord's side? That's right. And what was this, what was said? And he said, throw her down. Throw her out the window. So they threw her down. You know she ain't look out the window to get thrown out? <laughs> no. No way. That's like you come and invite some fella to your house and you got your evening gown on and whatnot. You really don't know him. Then all of a sudden he come in and then you sit down and you look and so. you want to do. Come on, Jay. Come on. That's right. And then he said, just give me your hand. And you like. <laughs> he take your hand and you look and you're like, now what? Then all of a sudden, eternal God in the name of Jesus Christ, he looked down upon this Jezebelian woman. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Can you imagine that? He hold your hand, catch you off guard, break out praying. You know you didn't give him those hands for that. That's right. <laughs> oh, it's a God. That's right. Listen at this. And he lifted up his face to the he window. He lifted up his hands, his face to the window. And said, who is on my side? Who? On who? My side. Amen. Yeah. And when, you, when you was on Jehu's side, you was on the Lord's side because he had a mission from God. That's right. Uh -huh. And they looked out to him two or three eunuchs. Two or three eunuchs. Uh -huh. And he said, throw and her down. And that was not phased by the women. Not, that's, that's right. That's right. Not phased. They wasn't phased by the women, so they ain't mind throwing her out. That's right. Glory to God. Hey. Amen.